talk for who the bottom. Y'all first attack. Y'all be switching out. Look at the little Yang. You the cutest little thing. Come here. What's your name, boo? Come here. You, baby, the Yang. Come here. The Yang. Yeah, you, Yang. Chain, some young guy, all that. What's your name, Keller? Mel? Put your arm around me like you love me. Ooh, you, ooh, you so strong. Come back. You look like Bruce Lee. <laughs> Are you an Oriental? Which Asian? Chinese? Japanese? What? Korean? See, I don't know all that. You guys just give me one of the easy ones. Chinese, Japanese, or Korean. Do your family do nails? Do your family do nails? <laughs> That was a joke, boy. You missed that. I went all over your head. How long y'all been together? How long y'all been together? Five. Ooh, it's fresh new. Ooh, y'all done everything already. <laughs> is he good at being? Ooh. Nah, you already told me. You said, oh, is he top or bottom? I know it's between y'all because I ain't getting involved in this shit. I just want to. <laughs> No, I'm just joking. Thank you for coming to show. What's your name, husband? Ken, Ken and Mel. That sounds like Barbie dolls. Ken and Mel. Y'all hold the hand. She got your hand up between his legs. Ooh. I knew you little Yang's was freaky. I walk up in the Yang store to get my nails on. Oh, you want to get my Oh, man. Baby, you like my ass up as I come in. Oh, it's me. Oh, drag queen. Oh, my God. Murders. <laughs> 
that showbiz kid. <laughs>
we do?
probably watch Oz because they show Dicks in the shower dropping the soap in the And I'm waiting for the next season, ladies and gentlemen. I watch Oz religiously. They're always killing and they're always raping, and that's what I'm accustomed to. <laughs> And next Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, you have nothing to do. Casey Productions is where I work, 914 East Sunday night. She is giving a big birthday extravaganza for both Tisha Black. She'll be 21 finally. She's in here tonight, so we're not going to tell anybody her real age. But no, I'm just joking. She'll be 22, right, Tisha? Sunday at the East of the Ryan, 914 East Sunday night. She is hosted by Indigo Blue and myself, ladies and gentlemen. So you guys come on out. She's going to be in drag. Oh, <laughs> Ms. Beecher, are you going to be in drag, bro? Because we're tired of looking at you like that. We want to see you as fish. If these big girls can do it, you can, I believe in you. Yes, I can. <laughs> well, no, you know, I know you got boyfriends and stuff, and they be tripping about you getting drag. Girl, but it comes with the territory. You know, the sissies don't like the drag queens like that. They just like to watch them entertain and say they live for them, but they don't want to have them. Oh, they don't. Oh, the sissy. Ooh, that's a taboo. A gay boy and a drag queen? Yeah, I can tell you some stories. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, who? <gasps> Don't say that. She's in the building. The, oh, the gay boys like Sasha. The Sasha is old bust down behind closed doors, y'all don't know. <laughs> they say the Sasha got mad skills, bitch. What? She just Sasha walking around and on stage is so addictive. Uh, off stage, she is Jaru, bitch. Y'all don't know. <laughs> She put it on him, baby boy, put it on me. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage our final contestant vying for the coveted title of Miss Metropolitan Continental Plus. Make some noise from Atlanta, Georgia. This is Princess Brandy. Y'all make some noise for Princess Brandy. Clap. Thank you.
want to see him naked, when I'm seeing when I'm naked already, he's a stripper. Not a stripper, a scripper. Yeah, no, he was at your house last night, Big Peach. We spent the night at your house. You know, you have your own home now, you're a homeowner. You have land and property and everything, although you always had a house up in you anyway. <laughs> you keep talking shit this week, I'm gonna be a house that falls on you, bitch. You just don't be reciprocal and fall back on me, bitch, because my body can't take it, girl. Okay, I'm plastic. Sherry Giles, could you come up here, please? This is my sister, y'all. Come here, Sherry. I had loved it that you, girl. I've been knowing you for 36, ooh, bitch, I've been knowing you a long time. 36 years, girl. My sister, because just made 37, she's older than me. You used to babysit me, girl, all the way till I was in fourth grade. I mean, two years in fourth grade. Then I was born. Y'all clap for my sister, and she gorgeous. That was a shitty clap. Look at that skin, bitch. Don't make up. Y'all clap for my motherfucking sister, bitch. I love you, sister. And I just want you to know that I love you for 20, 36 years, bitch, because you always been. Okay, girl, 37 years officially. Well, I won't be 37 officially until next month. I know, girl, I know, but I've been knowing you for 36 years at this moment. And I want y'all to tell you, let me tell y'all about my sister. My sister is always with me when I'm down, when I'm going through the drama, she's supportive. She tells me I'm beautiful, even when all these bitches be hating on me. She's unbiased, and she's fabulous, and she cooks for me each and every Sunday. Check the stomach, catch it, catch it. Every Sunday she cooks for me, regardless of rain, steel, shine, she keeps her hair done. She's a fabulous mother, she's a fabulous friend, she's a fabulous sister, and I wish everybody else could have somebody in their life like this because I watched this The Wonderful Life till one day when I was depressed and said, what would life be like without me? But I should have asked, what would life be like without Sherry Giles in my life? Because I love this lady. Happy birthday. Where's my cake at, Jerry? Where's my sister? Okay. Hey, Jerry, you know what I love in this year, girl. Candles, bitch, and make a wish. Wish that I win the lotto. I'm tired of working. <laughs> <laughs> Have you bite it, bitch, right here. Bite it. I want to see your head skills, bitch. Bite it. Let me see. Oh, ooh. Don't be teasing the bitch. Just don't talk uh, uh, that she want to tease. Don't take it right there with Big Peach. I won't get none. <laughs> Competition for Miss Metropolitan Continental. Thank you guys for that. I love Miss Sherry Jones to death. I don't love any people in this life, but I love my sister, baby. You can't, you can't use that word love too loosely because you think they love you and they stab you in the back. All these fake ass friends. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage contestant number one in talent competition vying for the coveted title of Miss Metropolitan Continental. This is from Detroit, Michigan, Fantasia. Make some noise for Fantasia, ladies and gentlemen.
Bell Lounge is a benefit show for Mr. Quentin D. Alexander. He's a reigning Mr. Black Ohio. Uh, some noise, ladies and gentlemen. Clap.
Coca-Cola commercial on y'all? <laughs> Shit, you can't help but love it. No, no, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. Woo! It's hot in here. Is it air on, Jesse, or what? No, it's not on? Well, what you got going on, baby? It's hot. I paid $17 to get in here. I can't get any air. Oh my God. Can I get some free water or something? I paid $17. Y'all need some mini fans or something. Just a month you ain't got no air, honey? What? You didn't pay for air? Oh, okay. Well, they, they jipping you. I just want you to know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage in talent competition. This is contestant number four. Meet, please meet angry from right here in Chicago. Make some noise for the, the very lovely Miss Tiara Russell. Y'all clap for Tiara Russell.
Chicago Continental is coming up Monday, July 29th. The doors will open at 9 p.m. with Monica Monroe MC, entertainment by Sherry Payne, the fabulous Miss Continental 2001 Candace Kane, and Mimi Marks. Yeah. 